Oh. Welcome back to the biggest Mighty Monsters update in history. We're here to check out everything else that has arrived. So we're looking at Red Hermit, some costumes, and either more stuff on Magical Nexus, of course. So first of all, I'm on Magical Sanctum. Oh my goodness. Well, that's a bit of an anticlimactic moment, honestly. <laughs> None of you guys are on here. I'm so sorry. Good day. Maybe one day you can be reunited with Pekidna and Tapcon as well because, oh my goodness, I need that so bad. Okay, so it's telling me to go on over to Water Island first. Shall we do that then? I guess that's what we're doing because the game wants me to. <laughs> we just follow along. Okay, we're going to activate as Extravaganza Skin. Now, I believe we've got some costumes to take a look at. So let's go ahead and look at those first of all. That, that feels like a really cool idea. We have the teaser of Wog looking at a costume and it looked like Blabbit, but it wasn't Blabbit. <laughs> I think it's going to be a Wog costume looking like Blabbit, but is it going to be? <laughs> I guess we're gonna see. Okay, let's go and look at his first new costume then. Now I looked inside of the news tab and it says we got five costumes, not four. They just couldn't put enough things in the update, okay? <laughs> there had to be even more than just the regular new four that we usually have. Do we have, oh, this is the costume which we were pranked by, they could be. But then I think we've got a new one that is going to bamboozle us a little bit. Oh, oh. Oh, first of all, we've got Anglo. Who's got one? Little cosmic egg. Oh, oh, it's holding eggs. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, my goodness. Aquazole, it's called as well, my Anglo. That's so befitting. Oh. Oh, my God. It's so cool that Anglo got a costume. Anglo's, I'm not a fan of it, as you guys probably know, but... Oh my goodness, I love its design so much and it's so cool seeing its little spectral orbs become eggs. Shattered eggs at that. Oh my god. Very funky. I really like your ostrich costume and gajubes. So it's nice to see Anglo get something like that. Oh my goodness, I'm in the wrong menu. Go back. Costumes. Who else has one? Oh my god. What is this that I am seeing at the time? <laughs> it looks massive. Wait, who is this? It's wobbling and doing... Is it dandy do? Ah! <laughs> oh, dandy do! It's bigger than the market tab. It can't withhold the hairdo. The hairdo has got too much of a do. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love this. This is so funny. <laughs> oh, the ribbon as well. OMG. Well, Dandy Do, your regular hair, and then we go to this. That is so funny, man. The regular hair is already so funny, but just seeing it as an egg. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. Dandy Do, you do that dizzily, dizzily. What do? <laughs> oh, Dandy Do. Oh my god. There's too much fun here. Anglo and then Epic Dandy Do. Those are really cool. What a cool pair. Oh, we'll have one on a random island again, probably, because we seem to be getting those every single update. Like, as Dragon instead of Crescendo Moon. Then random ones like Biosynerus and Season of Love 2. They're quite fun. I wonder what it's going to be this time. I'm nervously going to the side now after that one. That was really cool. Oh, bonnet slippers. Okay, so this is the one where it's dressing up as Blabby. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't actually expect it to be Fog inside of that teaser. I was maybe expecting it to be someone else. Oh, it's got, it's got the teeth as well. And the tail. You know, this looks like Baby Blabby inside of Dawn of Fire. I've been super loving Bowhead in that bit. I've been listening to that so much in Nexus lately. So fun. Are you playing now? I can't even remember where the fog plays. My mind is in a dizzy. Look at it. It's like a plush as well. Yes, this is so more intricate than the Feast Ember designs where they just dress up as Goblin God. And I'm so glad because the costumes, they have been getting amazing like I went over. And it's nice to see that here. Oh. <laughs> Lay love again. <laughs> it would be cool if you saw the teeth inside of it. Oh, you do. <laughs> you do. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, th that could not be better. I'm trying to suggest improvements, and then it just does it. That's insane. Do we have other things on War Island 2? I think we have one more on here, maybe. Plans for Nigel. We've already seen this. The rest of them must be on other islands. Oh, my glob. <laughs> Gobby's proud. Good old Gobby. <laughs> and Taps. Taprican. Let's go into the news tab and maybe see if we can work out who else has a costume there. There's too much stuff. I can't even work out what's what anymore. <laughs> Extra begins the costumes. Five new. Can you guys spot which one's a new one here then? Oh, Erecule Ailey has got one. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, and Fangler. <laughs> okay. That's just so random. Has Fangler got a costume yet? I don't think he has. Oh, that's really cool. Ethereal costumes. They're just coming out non-stop now. I swear down, we got one for Dragon. We've got all them from last year. Ethereals have got so much love lately. And I like that. I like that, but I need that for my magicals now with these magical events. I'm dying for a peck in a costume and stuff. I'm ever so dearly needing one. I'm sure the magical ones are going to come eventually. It's nice to see the mythicals getting some too. Oh, oh wow. Holy native poise. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm in love. Oh, check out the wings on this dude. Yo, this is so cool. That is the best, maybe, ethereal costume that we've had so far. Alongside the diamond ones that we got originally, these ones were really cool. Them diamond ones for the single elementals were really good, but alongside this, that's the best seasonal one, shall we say? So cool. I love it. The idea of it is so fun. Is it like a tarantula this way it's supposed to be now? It's like a bee, though. <laughs> I can't stop. This this is so good. Oh my god. I can listen to Bone Island Fangler right now. Now that that is what I need. I need some of that inside of my life because Fangler on Bone Island. That's such a good beat. Oh my goodness, what has happened on here? Oh yes, I forgot all of my magic. <laughs> All of my magicals vermoosed. Oh no. I think today as well, I'm gonna teleport my rare magicals with yours. <laughs> There's gonna be none left on here. Well, I have an Uduk. I can place that one down in the meantime. <laughs> In, anyway, I guess I'm gonna have to complete all of these magical islands again by the time I'm done. But that isn't what we need right now. We need Fangler. It's called Sumter Net. Oh, oh, it's taking on the stride of fishing nets. That's so clever. Holding eggs. So unique, this one. Here we go. There's a reason Bone Island is my, one of my faves. By way, go by way. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. I love Bone. It's it's so good. I love Bone and Mythical so much. Ethereal Workshop. I love, 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 love. <laughs> There's so many good islands coming out at the moment. Okay, so we've discovered every single new costume there, and. I say now we teleport our rare magicals and over to Nexus because I really want to see them over there. <laughs> I've not got them yet, so I'm very excited about that. But at the same time, I'm like, is this a bad decision? No, I want them. <laughs> I'm sorry, future MPG. You're gonna just have to complete the island again. It'll be fine. <laughs> oh. My first ever reward on Nexus, because I've been editing videos non-stop, guys. So I've not actually had a chance to really explore the new island all that much yet. <laughs> oh, oh, something what we've been told as well is these represent the titans along the side. These might represent maybe more so what the full bodies of these might look like, which I find really cool. So which one's Necrol? Oh, this one's Necrol. Then we've got... Phosphora, Facade, and then Krovlaft. Oh, Krovlaft looks so cool. Oh, someone needs to make artwork of these now because these represent them in such a unique way. We've never seen what the bodies could even look like from this perspective. This is really interesting, actually. 
Oh my goodness. I need to see now. Artwork from this. <laughs> I need fan art of this because these designs are actually really good. That's actually insane that they've chose to put them there. I actually insane that. What actually is the law behind this? That's something else which I'm going to have to look at. I actually have so much to look at still on this island. Begging that. Oh, okay. I love, 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 love Pekina and Taprikon. You might notice I've put Pekina and Taprikon in the center in my full song and stuff because I love them. Looks like we have a wild card as well from the collect feature, which is interesting. That is cool. Now, that is the prize which I actually would want alongside diamonds on Nexus. Let's hope we get something like that. Click to collect all the currencies that are generated, of course. Man, we just got shards, but hey, that's a lot of shards. Wow. Well, I hope the, the diamonds you get maybe like 20 or something, because man, this island was hard to get. More than the Wublins, a lot more, hopefully, I'd say. All right, let's go with Rare Hollow then now. I'm gonna place Rare Hollow down and begin populating my island a little bit more. Oh, you know, the animations feel so good on here. <laughs> Inside of my reaction, I didn't get the chance really because I was focusing on the individual parts to fully appreciate the song. But now I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm vibing. I'm vibing. It's a vibe. I'm actually so impressed with how much every single monster contributes inside of the song in regard to just how many monsters there is. I think that this is so much better than Ember Island. I'm so glad in that aspect because I'm not going to lie, when I was discovering it, I was so content and, and i feel like maybe that came across in my reaction because after i'm Ryland, i was just like please don't happen again but then all the monsters start getting loads of tracks and then by the end you even heard me say i was that much in shock <laughs> it was insane okay so we got very hollow let's keep going we've got another 13 to go and yes i am getting them all <laughs> It's so fun. I, I can't stop. I love my magical nexus. What islands have rares? You. Rare wither. Goodbye. It's called rare wisp. That's so clever because, of course, it's part of the Garga Ghoul family wither alongside wisp. Which is really fun. Oh, and there's Wonderful Whale, which I still need that new track ever so desperately. Who knows, though? Workshop. I think it's coming. Make sure to watch my predictions. Oh my god. Apparently in my reaction, I missed a wither sound, so... I don't know, let's see. I think it's in the build up where I missed a sound. I mean, to say I discovered all these monsters that only missed one sound, that's impressive. Pekin is so good at this <laughs> I think this is the one that I miss. Okay. I've actually heard the full song of course many times at this point. But still zooming in on that is really cool. And I definitely missed out on the impact of that inside of my reaction. Shall we go on to fairy then? We're going in reverse. We started from light to bone last time. So we're going bone to light this time. Reverse order. Reverse psyche. <laughs> I think this time I'm going to place them all and then listen to them all at once. So we'll get all the fairy rare elementals. And then we'll be able to see them all in action together. As long as it's quite long, so... And we definitely, I don't think, need to listen to them individually. So let's keep on going here. Oh, my island is so barren now. I hope no new monster comes to the magical islands. If any new monster actually did come, I would have no ability to actually record the full song anymore. So let's hope that that doesn't happen because otherwise MPG is doomed. All right, guys, I think I've teleported pretty much every single one now. I keep saying teleported. You guys know I mean transposed. I'm probably gonna say that forever, man. <laughs> so I've actually noticed inside of my hotels, I have actually been saved. You guys are gonna think I'm, are you gonna just wonder uh, how much effort I put into this game <laughs> But I have spares of a lot of monsters because I'm preparing for Wubox. So I actually have a lot of monsters left over. You might be wondering, Wubox on the Magic Islands. I mean, my prototype Wubox theory we put forward. I feel like that 
might happen. So I've got them there in case, but they've actually saved me for Nexus now. I've got half, maybe? Oh, we've got all of us. Look at them. Look, my mouth, my mouth. <laughs> I love how it glides. It's trying to be serendipitous, but it's just gnashes, isn't it? Oh, man. Ooh. Oh, look at the light. So cool on this island. <laughs> Rare Tutu is totally made for this island and Rare Gob. The lights coming from this to suit this island so much more. Yes, I still think that is very weird. <laughs> This island makes me so happy. Hey. <laughs> it's interesting how this island suits the magical so much altogether. See where I have up. Here we go. everyone now the majority <laughs> maybe just bonk has left it really is insane how much the animations improved on here though and it's not even been as much time from the magical islands as say plant island or whatever i mean they've even added more life to gob and plinkajou and those are pretty static monsters i would say let's go rare bonkers you're the final one man I'd say we've pretty much discovered every single rare magical right there. I think it was the right choice in getting them all because the point there's so many. I'm glad that we did that though together. Something else what I want to look at on this island actually that I've not had the chance to look at because I'm just so interested behind who this crystal bean is behind the island is actually the description because I'm sure there is law here which I have not encountered yet. So let's have a look. Can this reveal a little bit more about the island? Because this is our creation of the magicals, obviously. And the Titans themselves being at the side also raises to question. Like I was saying inside of my theories, their relationship to the Titans must have come from somewhere for these magicals to have inhabited them because we don't see them really anywhere else in the monster world. So let's hope that that, that can be established, that origin story a little bit inside of here. There's a being who's sure all that glitters is gold. Uh, yes, our stairway keeper, and it's buying a stairway to heaven. Even though some facets of it appear familiar, the magical nexus doesn't actually belong to the monster world proper. It hails from beyond. The floating island is situated at the cosmic crossroads of the wanderings of the stair shaper. An enigmatic entity that hitchhikes across galaxies searching for intelligent life with which to commune. This is interesting. So when we get our new map inside of the game, that's going to indicate where these islands resonate and where they are from. But this seems to be from 
another kind of existence, like the mythical plane and the dreamscape. So, like the pocket dimension, this is something else which the stairs keeper is having in tow, which I think also brings about a lot of implications, seeing as though this is the being that created the magicals. How did it manage to get the magicals across to the titans in the first place? It's interesting. I'm, I'm interested now. Over the span of its interstellar travels, the stairship has recruited many like-minded beings of titanic size to its cause. Oh, this is how. And once it learned the history of the colossals, dispatched them to integrate into the monster world. Recruited. Where did they come from, though? That's, oh, that still brings a lot into question, man. That's exciting. Now, the magical monsters born of these unions can use transposition to travel to the Nexus and meet their maker for the very first time. At times, serene and others rousing, the Nexus song represents the culmination of a lifetime's hopes and dreams. That is marvellous, man. That is so cool. It certainly brings still, though. A lot to question, I feel. Because I'm going to go on to Red Urban now, so we can be getting the megs while we're talking here, but I feel like it still brings a lot up to question because even though these Titans were recruited... I still want to know more about them. I feel like the magical saga, that is an end to itself. But there's still so many questions. Look, I just have the wobblings that aren't raised now at the top. And you can see we have this one, which hmm, I'm not sure about that one. But then we have these four. There's not that many left, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm, I'm actually really worried about this one. <laughs> Please do not require rare wobblings. I just want them to keep these and then evolve them into epics one day, maybe, if that comes. But I don't want to put my rare wobblings in because I work really hard for them. So, I don't know. We're going to have to see on that one. So, we have rare interact forests that we got those. And scops, fun pits and fog. Oh, my God. I actually have all of them again. <laughs> I have read a ton of rare fogs. I think you guys saw them earlier when we're on Air Island. Were we on Air Island earlier? Bone Island, I think. I've read some as well. So you guys will have seen just random rare fog eggs around. Rare scops as well. I've got them all, baby. Pour them all in. So many implications. I love how Nexus has rounded things up in such a positive way. I'm, I cannot state how much I love that island. The law, the song. I think for me, the genre of the song, it's not as much in my taste, which I feel like also pounded into my reaction. I feel like your hip, 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 pop, pop, pop is my kind of song where I'm popping and bopping. <laughs> I love it still so much though. I'm talking from a favorite's perspective right now. I love that bone where I'm just vibing the whole time. That's my kind of vibe. <laughs> They're the islands that I usually like the most. Look at our Fumpy's costume. I still have a shot to upload on them. I, I have it privated. I need to make that public. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why it's still privated. I will make that public. And we have one rare quarister, which is our final rare quarister that's needed, I think, for the rare wobblings now. Like I've been saying, I just have a long list now of every single rare wobbling requirement, and I go along with that. I actually don't have a rare quarister. I probably put in my nursery to breed for rare blossom or something. You know, I think I did, but I bred one first try anyway. Well, that was lucky, wasn't it? Is it just me? I was just going off of Earth Island and that colossal sounded so loud. Is it me or have the colossals got impeccably loud? It's not always been like, I, I feel like that might be something tied into this update, actually. Shall I go and have a look at it? Maybe that's in something that I need to pay more attention to. I actually only have a thumpies and scups left to breed, and then I think I can... Ah, just as I expected, there's a volume bar now. I'm gonna take a guess that this is not in the 3D audio style, and that's why it's louder. Because I've added the volume bar so you can adjust it, and people don't usually put your cloth eyes in the middle, which I appreciate, actually. Oh my god, what have I read there? <laughs> I don't know! What is that? I want to see just because I want to. Oh, I bred a humble only for 24 hours. I'm not actually used to that. That must be the new island skin time. And you see, I always use my rares to breed now, so I never encounter them. I started a new game, though, on Steam just for thumbsies recently. And I've been having fun on that. I've just been getting loads of pods on the island. I'm trying to make my way to Pekidur and Tapricorn again so I can discover them. Okay, so just two scops and one fog left now. We can breed all of that on water. But if we have some free swap spots, if not, I'll go into air. Ah, we don't. Adult Blossom takes priority. Oh my god, that was such a large jump scare to me. <laughs> That scared me so much. <laughs> oh my god. I actually want to go over that footage because that genuinely shot me to the car. 
That was an Evo and a Wobox pun, guys. I was terrified there. I need to turn down these on all of my islands, otherwise I am going to be jump scared. I'm going to have more precision, though, when I come to recording my islands, which I appreciate. One rare flog left. Oh, two. <laughs> Can't forget that. So, Red Dermot, what's it going to be like? Now, I've not seen any of this, obviously. I have little to no idea. We, we predicted that it would be Clover Spell themed or cold elemental theme to suit Glacier this month as the, the rare bubblings that always based on a month, but we've already had an extravaganza theme and that's what's in game right now, so honestly I feel like they can get away with anything this time, so it's just going to be exciting, I think to see what they do end up doing this time. Hey, Vinyl One, I bred them! I bred them both actually in one go. <laughs> both rare flogs. Okay, let's go on over to Dermot then. Definitely not one of my favorite wobblings this one. I feel like we've got an odd bunch left now. I don't know. Am I the only one who feels like that? It feels very odd to me, the ones that we've been left with. Anyway, let's go and have a look at Red Dermot then now. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, this is not getting enough appreciation. This is so cool. This is going to get left behind from all the other updates, but oh, that is cool. A petal theming? Oh, it is extravaganza theme. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, it's playing in the background. Oh, we're going to go into it. Yes. Oh, I like the boots and the shoes and the leaves. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, the poison by buying this. Muddy boots too. Oh. <laughs> You know, that is really cool. I like that. I wouldn't say it's as funky as the rest of them, though. <laughs> wow. So much to take in here. It's, it's got a much more radioactive look. I, I love how the petals resemble extravaganza, but it's gone in its own way this time, which is really cool to see. The tentacles, so radioactive. It looks like the Simpsons fish creature. I can remember I brought that up in a Fury video, and it's weird to have that in game kind of now to resemble that. Anyway, let's just have a look at Rare Dermot. Let's have a look at what it says. For the creation of Rare Dermot, the Wobox decided to spice things up and incorporate an existing organic material into its genetic makeup. The parasitic pathogen Rit Rot. Oh, I'm going to, before this video ends, bring up what monster this is from. I'm going to have to do a bit of research, but I know that a monster already has this. Is it Nulls? I don't know. We're going to have a look. The extent to which the fungus has completely overwhelmed the physiology of the wobbly was perhaps unforeseen. But thankfully, the mushroom laden monster seems unfazed and is as willing as ever to boogie down. Or is that the influence of the Rit Rot? <laughs> Who knows? Rot, though. That was one of his fumpies. Oh, so another monster has this. So I'm going to have to do a bit of research to find out what monster this is. Aha! I have discovered it based on my website stuff. <laughs> the amount of effort that goes into my website, I think is unreal. <laughs> but the monster is. Get ready. Is that supposed to be a drum roll, but you guys can't see my legs? <laughs> we need to go on to Plant Island for this moment. It's not Nulls that has this one. It's, in fact, an epic. This marks the return of... Da -da 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 -da. Epic Octopus. Epic Octopus is the one that has the Rit Rot disease, <laughs> shall we say? But Rare Dermot has been infected with. So, we've we'll somehow extracted this into red i mean that's really cool tying that together actually i love it when we get things like epic wallaby and now epic octopus keep doing that msm because i like these connections a lot and these make or break experiences that make them so much more lively and i think it's really cool can you guys see the comparison though this deserves a shot okay we, we need to compare these two together i will get on that but for now if you guys enjoyed this please make sure to leave a like down below as it helps more than you guys will ever know another ginormous video for mpg <laughs> I'll see you guys later though for now. Bye! Thank you so much for all the fun this week. I love you all.